Ladies and gentlemen, this is Alan Slade at ringside at Wilmington Bowl for another great card of main event wrestling from Hollywood. Wilmington Bowl, a short drive from the entertainment center of the world, Hollywood, California, and tonight we have a tag team match featuring the miniature mastodons of the mat, the Mighty Midgets. Farmer's Spots and Harry Motty versus Billy Kurtz and uh, Cowboy Clack. And uh, Way Meadows, the ring announcer, is going to make the announcements introducing former world's midget championship babyface Marin. Babyface Marin, a former world's mid midget champion. Farmer Georgie Spots and Harry Monty. Mr. Monty, he says. Mr. Monty, don't forget it. Tag team of the midgets. The mighty Adam, Harry Monty. 88 pounds. Farmer Georgie Spots. Hogwash, Arkansas, his hometown. Farmer George Spots of Hogwash, Arkansas. <laughs> 80 pounds, four ounces, Hollywood. Billy Curtis, 80 pounds and four ounces, signing autographs off in the corner. And from the Texas Panhandle, 81 pounds, six ounces. Cowboy, Paul Pee Wee Clapp. And the fifth man in the ring, Pete Merringer, gets down on one knee. These are men. These are not boys. These are not dwarfs. They are men. Any one of those little fellas in the ring could turn around, pick Pete Merringer, All-American football player, though he was, Olympic wrestling champion, though he was, and could lift him up and toss him right out of the ring. Harry Monty, if we can keep track of these mighty mites, Harry Monty trying to mix it up just a little bit with the former champion, Babyface Marin. Farmer Spots ready to mix it up, too. Every one of these men standing under four feet. Harry Monty and Farmer Spots just above our microphone. Mr. Monty and Farmer Spots above our microphone. And it'll be Pee Wee, Paul Clatt, Cowboy Clatt. In All right, sir. All right, sir. He says, don't forget Mr. Monty. Pee Wee, Paul Clatt, and uh, the Farmer. Farmer Spots and Pee Wee Clatt mixing it up. And these boys are tremendously fast. Cowboy wearing red trunks. Reverse headlock and a beautiful body slam by the farmer. Nice headlock by <laughs> headlock by the farmer. We're gonna over a little bit. He has a red handkerchief, we noticed, right in his back pocket. Beautiful hip throw by the farmer. Farmer George Spots. Little men with a lot of power, though not enough weight. Well, plenty of weight, of course, for their opponents. Very fast. <laughs> Harry Monty into the ring with the Cowboy. Cowboy clap. K-L-A-T-T, a full Nelson. Very effective is Harry Monty, another full Nelson. Same one, working it up and down, trying to work the cowboy around to any type of hold, and he works him into a beautiful body, scissors. And a hair hold by Harry Monty and a complaint drawn from Billy Curtis in the far corner.
Harry Monty draws a four ounce weight disadvantage with his opponent at the moment. And here's Billy Curtis on a two pound advantage over Harry Monty. Very fast. Oh, what a reverse. Nice side headlock. Very effective. This is called a Venus de Milo hold. He tries to break his arms off at the elbows. Billy Curtis in the light trunks. Harry Monty in the dark trunks. And they wrestle right over to ringside where referee Pete Maringer says break it up. <laughs> Harry Monty is ready to do battle with Billy Curtis once again. <laughs> Harry Monty with a bear hug. Monty with the bear hug, forcing Curtis across the ring with the bear hug. Over into the corner. And by the trunks and farmer spots is called by Pete Merringer. And it's Merringer, <laughs> Merringer taking the punishment as all five of them are mixing it up in the ring. There we go. Here's where anything can happen. Maringer trying to crawl out of it. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Harry Monty comes into the tag on Farmer Spots. Monty took a little punishment on that one. Nelson by Farmer Spots from Hogwash, Arkansas. A beautiful butts uh, by Billy Curtis sends the farmer down onto the canvas. Nice leg scissors. Leg scissors in a chokehold, and Pete Maringer says, Bring it up, boys. That'll do no good. Operation Hare. Billy Curtis reaching around. Oh, the swan dive, and into the ring comes Harry Monty, and right back out again, forced out by Pee Wee Cowboy Paul Platt. Reverse headlock by Billy Curtis sends the farmer flying across the ring. In comes Pee Wee Cowboy Paul Platt. I wouldn't have believed it, but these guys weigh practically nothing. Farmer Georgie Spots of Hogwash, Arkansas sends Pee Wee Cowboy Paul Platt to the canvas. Reverse headlock by the farmer, Pete Maringer, crawling down to check, and again, Pee Wee is whirled around the ring and up against the ropes where Harry Monty takes over. Once again, Billy Curtis into the ring and Harry Monty tangled up through the ropes. Cowboy Platt. Cowboy on the lookout, Harry Monty tackling the cowboy. Into a step over to hold is Harry Monty.
Beautiful head scissors by Cowboy Clatt. Trying to scrape out of it, Harry Monty is trying every trick in the book he can, but he can't seem to kick through. Cowboy Clatt with a lot of pressure. Kicks out. Reverse headlock by Harry Monty. Oh! And a full 80 pounds behind that blow. As Farmer Spots has almost tumbled into the ring. Reverse headlock and a body slam by Mr. Harry Monty, as he would like to be called. Cowboy trying to get over for the tag on Billy Curtis. Farmer Spots comes into the ring and Billy Curtis is there to intercept. Once again, these four men are in the ring. Pete Maringer calling for them to break it up, but to no avail. Finally, they do on the count. Billy Curtis coming after Harry Monty and this. Tag team match seems to be going on all over the place at the same time. Consultations going on in both corners. Coming in is Cowboy Paul Clatt once again. Around the ring he goes. Harry Monty just above our microphone pacing. A bear hug by Cowboy Clatt. Farmer Spots. Farmer Spots with a hair hold trying to break out of the bear hug, but he can't do it. Billy Curtis shouting advice from the far corner to his partner, Cowboy Clatt. Low to the top of the head. And the legal one, too. Another bear hug by Paul Clatt. Mighty Wiry puts a lot behind it. Takes another one to the top of the head by Farmer Spots. Farmer Spots getting a little in the face. Complains once again to Pete Beringer, the referee. Nice arm whip, and the farmer flies across the ring, half somersaulting, and out of the way. He says, I want no more, and Harry Monty goes into the ring to meet Billy Curtis. Nice side headlock by Billy Curtis, and he takes Harry Monty along the rope, and Pete Merringer breaks it up. Moving right in again. It's a headlock now by Harry Monty, and a hair hold. Harry Monty pulling Billy Curtis around. Beautiful head scissors by Billy Curtis. Harry Monty trying to dance out of it if he can. Does a headstand, takes a butt from the head of Billy Curtis. Another slap across the back of the lap. Billy comes up with a flying tackle. Flying, if you will, he caught it on the fly. Trying to work it into a Boston Crab if he can, but there's the tag. There's the tag by Harry Monty. And Farmer Spots can come into the ring, but no, he wasn't in the corner. And Pete Maringer says, no, sir. Break it up, it was outside. <laughs> Pete 
Cowboy Clatt and Harry Monty over in the corner of the ring having a little trouble. Billy Curtis taking a little punishment, but flips right off it, and Harry Monty is left on the mat. Left arm pinned beneath him. Curtis moves in with what looks like it's going to be a pretzel hold. And pulls him off, <laughs> and Pete Merringer comes off second best. Soulful Harry Monty says, I did nothing wrong. And <laughs> what happened? What happened? <laughs> Into the ring is Cowboy Paul Pee Wee Clatt. Texas Panhandle lad, very fast on his feet. Moves into a reverse headlock by Harry Monty of New York, New York. Monty with a nice elbow smash to the head, and down goes Pee Wee. Hey, Billy, get in there. It's Pee Wee with his eyes against the ropes, all tied up by Harry Monty, and now Farmer Spots moves in. And it's a big tangle again. Pete Merringer starts the count. He's going to disqualify anyone that is not out of the ring in time. And lifts Harry Monty forcibly out of the ring, completely out of the ring, right onto our microphone. Somehow I'm beginning to have the feeling this is harder on me than it is on all the matching, all the wrestlers in the match. A direct warning from Pete Merringer to Harry Monty. Any more of that, and you're through for the night, he says. Ride him, Cowboy, as Cowboy Paul Clatt moves in on Farmer Spots. And here comes the Farmer, full steam ahead, trying to get out of the ring. Bear hug by the Pee Wee doesn't last very long. Under the bare feet, a stomp on the bare feet, and another try at it by Pee Wee Paul Clatt. Billy Curtis, Billy Curtis moving in on Farmer Spots, trying to get at those vulnerable toes. There he goes, they're trying to stomp on the Farmer's toes. Reverse headlock and a body slam, carried out effectively by Billy Curtis of Hollywood, California. Hogwash, Arkansas's pride and joy farmer, Georgie Spots. The referee threw me out the ring, I didn't fall out of the ring. Sir? The referee threw me out. I didn't fall out of the ring. He says I can't go back in. All right. That's quite all right. Can I go back in? If you like, you go right okay. ahead and go back in. You have our permission. Harry, Harry Motty likes to carry on a running discussion with us here at Mike's side as to the ins and outs of the match and what is exactly happening. Just so we call him Mr. Monty. Cowboy Clatt being dragged around the ring by Farmer Spots. Reverse headlock and a nice elbow smash by the Farmer. Cowboy again struggling around, takes another elbow lift, you might call that, from the Farmer. Reverse headlock and a body slam, and down he goes. A hair lift, another reverse headlock, another body slam, and again it's Pee Wee Paul Clatt into an airplane spin of the Farmer. Round and round he goes, and where he falls, nobody knows. And down goes the Pee Wee in a body press from the Farmer. Two, three, and it's all over. The winner, Farmer Spots and Harry Monty. Winning the fall.
The match goes to Farmer Spots and Harry Monty. An airplane spin, Harry Monty the Mighty Adam, and Farmer Spots the winners over Cowboy Paul Flat and Billy Curtis of Hollywood. Ladies and gentlemen, that winds up another evening of wrestling at Wilmington Ball. It's been another exciting evening, fine match featuring those mighty mastodons of the mat in miniature, the Mighty Midgets. Hope you've enjoyed the match, and we'll be back with a little bit of a resume of the match, but first, Let's move on down to the dressing room where Jack London is waiting to interview the small men of the wrestling game. Jack London, take it away. Well, that was quite a uh, speedy exhibition, wasn't it? Uh, we're back here in the dressing rooms again, waiting for the, uh, for the little men to come back from, the, uh, from ringside. And they'll be along here any second, and we'll try to get them in here to hear, in their own words, exactly what happened down there in the ring tonight. But. Uh, I know the, uh, all of us here and the crowded ringside were, were uh, quite excited and quite impressed over the, the speed and the coordination and uh, the uh, wonderful exhibition that uh, was given here tonight by these uh, little men. Well, here they are now. I hear them. Uh, will you come over, fellas, and uh, tell, us, tell us what happened? Here they come. Mighty Adam. Uh, well. How'd it go? Well, you ought to move the out there tonight. Very good out there tonight. I was in good condition, and uh, it seems that uh, we uh, was trying to uh, did we we did our best, and but they try to use a little speed and rough us up a little bit, but uh, uh, we used our strength with them and our power, and we threw them around. We uh, we showed them what real wrestling was tonight. You you feel it results. Results tell the story, is that's, that it? That's right. They were a little tougher than I expected, but uh, we came out mm -hmm. on top, and that's all I, we usually do. In fact, we've won about 99% of our matches. I know you and have. How do you so feel? You oh, still I'm, I'm still in good shape. Uh, nothing hurt, huh? No, I feel good. You came back fine oh, for the yes. third. All right, well, thanks a lot, and uh, congratulations on winning the match. And uh, we're going to talk to the losers here and see what they have to say. They must. they want a rematch, we'll be glad all to give right, it to them. All right, all right, I'll, I'll pass right. that on to them. Uh, Billy Curtis, my boy Clat. Well, uh, Billy, what's the matter? What well, happened? let's say no alibis. It, they were tough. They were good boys. They, but uh, one one criticism I have, I don't know. You've noticed that you were there. You noticed that the referee was not on my side. First of all, do you notice he practically knocked me? Well, well, say that he completely mm -hmm. knocked me out when he kicked me in the face. Huh. He says he didn't see me. Now a man as big as that. Walking right in front of you, can't say he didn't see it. And f that lost my first mm -hmm. bout, believe me, I tell you the truth. I have no alibis, as I said, but I was out completely in the first round. But thank the Lord that I was, because Harry would have been flat on his back. You saw what I did to George. George is twice the size of Harry, I mean, in proportion, as we're I, talking uh, again. What's mean? I, uh, uh, what happened to you out there, cowboy? Well, I was a little bit out of condition. I, mean, I tried to work out in a short period of time. And I had a pretty bad accident just previous to the match. Yes, I know you did. And, uh, well, I wasn't in quite the condition I thought I was. Mm -hmm. But you gave a good account of yourself. I tried my best. I did my best. But I believe the next time we meet, I'll be able to do a lot better. I mean, Pee Wee. Yes, Bill. I guarantee you with two weeks of good training, you and I go at it forgetting that we're friends and really think that fighting each other, that we'll beat them in less time than it took tonight to beat us. And I'll, I'll, I'd, I'd like to say that. I'd like to challenge the champion, which is Harry Monty, and see mm. if I can take his belt away from him. All right, well, there we are. We got a chance for rematch and also a challenge uh, issued to the uh, champion, Harry Monty. And I think he's out there listening, so uh, we'll get together with the uh, promoter and see what can be done about that. I Thanks. wonder what he's going to do when little Jerry starts back in training, who was really the champion of all. Well, he'll probably have something to say about that. Thanks, Thanks very much, uh, fellas. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that was tonight's uh, tag team uh, main event uh, with the little man. Thank you very much, Jack London. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been another evening of wrestling from Wilmington Bowl. Top flight wrestling. Main event wrestling being sent your way with the very best wishes of all of us. And we hope you've enjoyed the matches and join us again next week at the same time for more of the same. This is Alan Slade at ringside thanking you once again for Jack London, myself, our entire crew, saying thanks, Adam. Good night. <laughs>